What's going on guys? Welcome back. My name is Dustin and last time we were here what we did is we created this health manager script to put on our player to give our players some health. We have max health set and we have our current health set as well. Um, and then we also made it so that when we make contact with our enemies um, our health goes down and when it reaches zero our player dies. Uh, so I noticed a couple of issues um, that we didn't, that, that came up after our, the last video. And one of those issues is, one, um, when we get hit by our uh, enemy and move away, our health continues to drop. Um, even now, after our player is no longer active, our current health is going down and down and down. Um, another thing that I noticed is when our enemy collides with any object, it, we will start losing health as well. So we're going to fix that today, and then we're also going to create a health bar up here at the top um, to visually show our player how much health he currently has. So... First, what I want to do is, if we go into our Hurt Player script here, uh, actually I'm going to go ahead and set our, these two, the, our Wait to Hurt to Public, and then I'm also going to set our Is Touching to Public, just so we can kind of see what's going on here. Um, so if we go onto our Skeleton, after that compiles, we can now see these values down here. So our weight to hurt is set to two, is touching is set to false. Now, when I hit play, so a couple of things are happening here. So one, as soon as our enemy uh, makes contact with another collider, our weight to hurt counter starts counting down and our is touching is also set to true. Um, and then also, when we, let's go ahead and wait for it to play, when we're no longer touching our enemy or he's not touching anything, is touching is never set to false, so that timer never stops going down. So what I want to do is, down here, first the reason why um, the timer starts in the first place is because of this on, on collision stay here. Um, Basically, this is just saying if he collides with anything at all, we're going to run some code here. So what I want to do is right above is touching, I want to do an if check here to see if other.collider.tag is equal to our player. Then we want to set is touching to true. So that should fix... Um, starting that timer when our skeleton collides with anything. That'll only get started when he collides with our player. Now also what I want to do is I want to turn off this uh, is touching bool here by saying going down here underneath our on collision stay I want to say void on collision uh, exit to D. And what that's going to do is whenever we stop colliding, the moment that we stop colliding with our enemy, we're going to run some code. So we're going to change this to other, and we're going to say if other, if other dot collider dot tag is equal to our player then we want to say is touching is false. Just like that. So if we save that, go back into Unity. Let's make sure that that's working. So first thing I want to check is to make sure 
that our timer does not start when he collides with, let's say, the bush, which it does not happen. And then when he collides with us, our timer starts, is touching is set to true. And when we're no longer touching our enemy, is touching gets set to false, and this timer gets turned off. So, but you'll notice that this timer is uh, set to 1.39 right now. And that is an issue because, oh, I don't know what I just did there. Um, that is an issue because when we start colliding with our enemy again, it's going to start from that point and count down. Um, so that could just, that, that'll that just make inconsistent time frames between when we're actually receiving damage. So what we can do is on our on collision exit, just underneath where we are setting is touching to false, we can say uh, weight to hurt is equal to two, just like that. So now every time we move away from our enemy, this weight to hurt will get set right back to two. So if we hit play and walk over to our enemy, counter starts, we walk away, and it gets set back to two. Perfect. So now that all of that is fixed, um, let's go ahead and make a health bar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on our hierarchy, make sure nothing's selected, and I'm going to go down to UI, and we're going to create a slider. So there's a couple of things that I want to do really quick. So it will first create a canvas for us, and what we can do is we can just zoom out really far, and this big box right here, this giant huge box, this is what that canvas is. So this box here will represent basically our screen. Um, and you'll notice here we have this little slider deal in our screen. That is this slider right here. And if we move that, it will reflect on our screen. So first off, I want to change one thing about our canvas. I want to go onto our canvas. And I want to change this UI scale mode. Instead of constant pixel size, I want to use scale with screen size. And what that's going to do is it's going to make it so that no matter what size our screen is, it's going to look relatively the same proportion wise to our screen. Um, I also want to change the reference resolution to our 1920 by 1080, just so that we're consistent. Just like that. So now what I want to do is on our slider, I want to move this slider up here into this corner. And we could probably make it a little bit bigger so that we can actually see it. Just like that should be good. So now we have this slider in our corner, but now let's say if we maximize this, um, oh, look at that, it's still up in the corner. Um, let's bring that smaller. But what could happen is, um, we need to change this anchor here, um, so that it is anchored up in the top right corner. Because what I want it to do is I want to stay, I want it to stay this far away from that corner. Um, what, for whichever screen size we're using. So I'm just going to anchor it up into that corner right there. So now what I want to do is if we open up the slider here, we got a couple of things in here. We have a background, we have a fill area, and we have this handle slide area um, that has a handle inside of it. And that's this guy right here. Uh, I don't actually want any of that. So this whole handle slide area, I can just go ahead and delete. So now, we have this slider that we can change the value on here, like that. And you'll see on the slider, it will slide up and down as the value increases and decreases. So first, what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and change this max value to 50. And we're going to change this value here to reflect 
our um, max health, but we're going to do that through the script. So, but I'm just changing this to 50 for now. So, now what I want to do is if we bring this all the way up to 50, you'll notice that it doesn't go all the way up. And then also on the other end, if we go all the way down to zero, it doesn't go all the way down. So, I want to fix that first. So, I'm going to bring the value all the way up to 50 so I can kind of see what's going on here. And if we zoom in here and click our fill area, what we can do, or if we click our fill, what we can do, you'll see that we have this outside box for our fill, and then the, these little arrows up here at the top and bottom. I want to take this box here, this outside box, and drag it down to match up with that other line. And then I want to take this fill area here, and take this line and drag it all the way out to the full size of our slider, just like that. And I want to go ahead and do the same thing on this side over here. I'm going to, take, I'm going to highlight our fill area, or the fill, and drag this in here to match up with that line. And then on our fill area, bring this back all the way out here. So now, we'll see that when we change the value on our slider, when it's all the way up at 50, it's completely filled. And when it goes all the way down to zero, it goes completely empty. Perfect. So now what I want to do is I'm going to set this to 25 so we can kind of see both the background and our fill area. I want to change the color of our background um, right here to just plain red and then I want to change the color of our fill to more of a green color just like that so now it looks a little bit more like a health bar um, when it's full it's completely green and as we lose health it turns to red so perfect so now what I want to do is I want to be able to control this health bar and we're gonna do that with a script. So let's go ahead and create a new script, and we're gonna call this UI Manager. And if we wait for that to compile, we're gonna go ahead and attach that UI Manager uh, directly to our canvas. So now we can go ahead and open up that script in Visual Studio, and we're going to need a couple of references to, to some things. Um, first thing we want to do is we want to create a reference to our slider itself. Um, so, But first what we need to do is up here at the top, kind of like how we uh, added in our scene manager, uh, we want to use, say, using uh, Unity Engine dot UI. And that's going to allow us to make references and changes to our UI interface. Uh, so we're going to say, um, first we need a reference to our health manager. So we're going to say private um, health manager. And we're just going to call this health man. And right away in our start function, let's say what that health manager is. So we're going to say health man is equal to find object of type. And we want to get our health manager script. Just like that. Now what we need here, also we need a reference to our slider. So we're going to make this a public variable. Uh, so public slider. And we're going to call this our health bar. So now, what we need to do in our update function, we can say that our um, health bar dot max value is equal to on our health manager script dot max health. 
and that will set that max value to whatever our maximum health is. So now we want to do the same thing with our current health. We want to say health bar, oh, no, health bar dot value is equal to our health manager, oh, health manager dot current health, just like that. So now if we go ahead and save that, go back into Unity, first thing we need to do is on our canvas here, on our UI manager, we have a slot here for our health bar. Let's just go ahead and tell it that, um, first I want to change the name of this slider to health bar so we can easily see what it is. And on our canvas, let's just drag that whole health bar into that slot, just like that. So now when we hit play, our health should automatically go up to 50 because that's what we have it set to. And every time we get hit, our health goes down. Just like that. Perfect. So next thing I want to do is I want to give this a little bit of text um, just to kind of tell the player what this actually is. So on our health bar, I'm going to right click our health bar and go UI text. And I'm going to go ahead and rename this to HP text. I'm going to, uh, under the paragraph alignment, I'm going to align it in the center on both left and right and up and down. I'm going to change this text to, let's say, HP uh, 25 slash 50. Um, I'm going to change the font size, let's say 20, uh, 40. Nope. Um, let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger, like that. So now we can see our health being displayed here. So now what I want to do, uh, I'm going to set this to a more solid black so we can see it a little better. And I'm going to change the font size to bold. So now what I want to do is back in our UI manager script, let's make a reference to that bit of text. So we're going to say public text, uh, and we're going to call it HP text. So now what I want to do, oh, so now we can just say down here, we can say our HP text uh, dot text is equal to, in quotations, we want to say HP colon space, and then plus, we're going to say our uh, health manager dot current health, plus, and then in parentheses again, just a slash, plus, health health manager dot max health just like that so now if we go ahead and save that go back into unity um, on our canvas we will have another slot for our hp text and let's drag that hp text in here just like that and now if we hit play we should see our um, text updating up here. So we have 50 out of 50 health, and 40, and 30, and 20, and so on and so forth. So perfect. Uh, that's exactly what we wanted to do. So if you're enjoying this series, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. Uh, leave me a comment. Uh, let me know what you think of the series, what you want to see in the series, anything that I could possibly do better. Um, make sure you hit that uh, bell notification icon. That way you can see whenever I upload a new video. But until then, I will see you next time.